a lot of talk about, obviously, the, the rivalry week. Coach Harbaugh had some very nice things. I don't know if you saw what he said about you, saying that the job that you've done here is one of the best in college football history. Your relationship with him, obviously, Michigan, when you came here, you made it a point to be make this game important for this university. How has Jim Harbaugh coming in changed anything and with your relationship with him, what is that like? Well, first of all, I've, I've always had great relationships with Brady, with Rich Rod, um, with Coach Carr, and, um, and now um, with Coach Harbaugh, although I don't know him that well. But, but um, I just think, uh, I just think I, I get a sense he's just a good guy underneath it all. You know, um, so how's it changed? It really hasn't changed. I mean, I think he's doing an outstanding job, obviously, and I think he's a ball coach. He's a ball coach. And, um, you know, as a, as, a, as a football coach, you respect the heck out of that. This game can help. Your program is a, a elevated above the Spartan games of the 80s and the 90s where one every eight, nine years is a, you know, a, a great moment for the program. You guys have made your mark on this rivalry so far. Being as that may this season, how can a win over a rival who's playing at the level they are and, and, and their goals are what your goals were, you know, coming into this year? Well, I think the first thing that it would do is it would, it would help reshape our confidence level as a football team. Uh, so that's, you know, our, our main focus is this weekend, but then after that, you know, our focus turns to, to Illinois. So um, long term, that's what, we, that's what we're working for. Um, my hope is that um, we flip things around a little bit here for our senior class and for our football program in general. And you know, I have goals every single week. And a lot of the goals may be with my, with, whether it's with uh, my family or with my faith or, or with my health. Okay, because you got to stay healthy. Yeah. Okay. And then the fourth goal is the football program in general. And then the fifth goal is who we're playing. So it, it all goes, I think, hand in hand. But there is a hierarchy here. So this is not an end all. I know that, you know, I paint it like that. But it's not an end all all the time. You know, you get back up and you go again. And that's, that's, that's what being a, being a competitor is all about. You know, go out and play pickup basketball. You keep going. If you don't win, you keep going. You don't bow out usually. You just say, pitch in the ball, and let's go again. A lot of these freshmen that are playing maybe wouldn't know the rivalry, the, the, how much more it mm -hmm. takes to prepare this week to sure. go out on Saturday. Is there anything you're going to mix up this week? Is there any, any to, to, just to help them? Oh, it only takes one or two plays. Okay. So they'll get that out That about there and does get that, it. That yeah. about does it. One or two plays. They'll sense the electricity in the air as they get to, that, to the moment that they're playing, but um, it doesn't take long um, for you to get the feel of, of a rivalry, and that's any rivalry in the country. It didn't take long for me to, to understand what playing Clemson meant when I was at the University of South Carolina. It took about two plays. So um, it'll happen. It sort of happens naturally. 